Accounting 21 Partnership Dissolution. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. Our LinkedIn group is MBA Accounting and Finance. <coughs> our scenario here is that we have three partners, John, Peter, and Tom, that own a partnership. And they share profits and losses in this manner. John, 20%. Peter 20% and Tom 60%. And further we have the beginning balances of a part of the partner capital accounts. So here is each person and their balances and if I click here I see that the sum of these three is 397550. What I was trying to explain to a student on this was is that the check figure for this problem is, is that the assets minus the liabilities, assets minus liabilities must equal equity, which is our basic accounting formula, and in this simple example, equity is equal to partner capital. So assets less liabilities needs to equal that 397500, and then I detail the 397500 down here as the sum of the capital amounts. So now we're going to liquidate the partnership, which means we're going to sell all the assets, we're going to pay off our liabilities, and then we're going to have capital left over to pay the partners. The key to this, I think, is that when you're all done in this simplified example, your ending balance in cash should be equal to the sum of the ending balances of the capital accounts and I do that here I reconcile that so this summation is the ending balance of the partnership accounts and this is the ending balance of cash so they have a building on the books for hundred and seventy thousand dollars let's assume that they sell it for a hundred and ninety thousand and then a twenty thousand dollar gain is allocated to the partners and I put the gain there so I can link the sell so we debit the building for 170. We get cash in the door of 190, which means we need additional credits for 20,000. And those additional credits go to the partnership accounts. 4 plus 4 plus 12 gets us the 20,000. John gets 20% of the 20,000. Peter gets 20% of the 20,000. Tom gets 60% of the 20,000. So credit, credit, credit debits equal credits for entry number one because they decided that they're going to share profits and losses by these percentages. Number two, Tom the partner takes a vehicle in exchange for reducing his capital and we're going to use the book value. So the beginning balance in the vehicle account was 22,000. We reduce that account to credit by 22,000 so it goes to zero and we reduce Tom's capital account by 20000 because he gets the vehicle. You can see what, what's happening here is we're adjusting all the accounts in the balance sheet to zero. Three, we collect receivables but 10000 is considered a bad debt and that bad debt expense, that loss if you will, gets accounted to the partners based on the percentages below. So we have a $10,000 loss that I'm going to use to link here. So entry number three, we get 161,235. However, our receivable balance was a credit, a reduction of 171,235. So the difference means that we need 10,000 additional dollars in debits, which is the losses. So 2 plus 2 plus 6 is the $10,000 debit that we need because the cash debit, the cash increase is $10,000 less than the reduction in the receivable for entry number 3. So we're allocating that loss, 20% to John, 20% of 10000 to Peter, 60% of 10,000 to Tom, so now we've allocated the loss by debiting the capital account and we have a balanced entry for entry number three. 
you've allocated the loss and adjusted the receivable account to zero. Number four, the payables get paid in full. We credit cash. We debit the note payable. The note payable balance is now zero. The investments get sold. We get 168250. We credit investments. That account goes to zero. So we can see that building vehicles, note payable and investments, and receivables are now all adjusted to zero. So if I go back to the balance sheet, all these accounts are now adjusted to zero. You can disregard these journal entries, which I started over here and I didn't need. So what do we have left? Well, what we have is a balance in cash of 385,550 after all of these transactions. We had a beginning balance. We had the inflows. We had the outflow for note payable. And now we're left with a cash balance, 385,550. So I put the, I linked the cash balance right here. And then I look at the sum of all the capital accounts. So this balance is the sum of the beginning plus the gain less the loss. This balance, beginning capital account plus the gain less the loss. Beginning balance plus the gain less the loss and also less the capital that Tom paid out because he got to keep the vehicle. If I add these three up, I get my capital after liquidation which is 385, 550 which agrees to the cash balance. The only asset left is cash. So assets, cash, minus liabilities of zero equals equity. The last entry which I don't have up here is we could credit cash and debit all the remaining capital accounts to end the partnership. We would debit cash to reduce it to zero and we would credit cash, excuse me, to reduce it to zero. We would debit each capital account so each of the partners would get out their payments in the amount of the capital balances that they have and we would end the partnership with a zero balance in cash by crediting and zero balances in the capital accounts by debiting and the entire partnership is dissolved. That's the end of Advanced Accounting 21. Not on the web or additional videos and spreadsheets. Not on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. You can email me for a complete list of videos on YouTube. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, here's our website, stltest.net, my email address and my phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.